so this is going to be my second vlog focused around the Forbes 30 under 30 conference. I didn't, I'm still wearing the same shirt, it's still the same night. I just felt like this vlog needed its own video, this topic needed its own video, and it's the topic that came up at the Forbes 30 under 30 women's conference. So the whole idea was focused around false allyship. Now, I think this is huge, especially for my mission, millennial working women. And I remember, you know, growing up, you're supposed to respect adults. And then in college, you have all of these advisors and a lot of people, teachers, friends, like people looking out for you and saying like, okay, this is what I'm thinking you should do with your classes. This is what I'm thinking you should do for this project. And you're getting feedback, but you know, there's really no problem. You know, it's coming from a good place because people want you to succeed. Now, transitioning into the workforce, you're joining a company or joining, doing something else, maybe even going on to grad school. And there might not be as many people kind of looking out for you in that aspect, like an advisor would in college. So then you sometimes encounter these false allies. And, you know, people sometimes just love to talk. Or sometimes people just love to impart their wisdom on other people. And the challenge with that is it's like, you might be hearing feedback, like I might be hearing feedback and think, oh my God, that doesn't fit me at all. That doesn't sound like me. That's not what I want to do. And then you're confused because, okay, an adult, I'm supposed to respect them, but wait, like, this isn't what I want to do. And you're just confused. And so the term false allyship is honestly just a term to teach and to know what's out there. So allies are people that know you, respect you, take the time to know you, what your goals are, what your career path is, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, how you respond in situations, how to increase your performance. I'm like rambling all of these things, but that's how you know who your ally is. Someone who takes the time to really know you. A false ally is just someone who's telling you information and it it's not coming from a place that you feel is right. So you might be just talking to someone and they will make a suggestion and say like, oh, like, no, you shouldn't do that. Or, oh, you should do this. And then you have to make the judgment, do I listen to this person or do I not? So a perfect example of this, um, so I have an example from college and then I also have an example from the real world. So in college, I remember that I was, you know, a freshman at Virginia Tech and I wanted to study electrical engineering. So I was in the engineering program. Second year, I was gonna be an electrical engineer and go through that program rather than general engineering. And, you know, I was in a sorority and I was on a design team and I was living in the special engineering dorms and trying a couple scuba diving, scuba diving club meetings for the Virginia Tech scuba diving club and doing all of these things. And this one guy that I was friends with, I had a couple group projects with him. He told me, mm, you know what Paige, like when the classes get harder, you're not going to be able to do all those things. And I just like started crumbling inside. I was like, what the heck? Like, what? I'm like, no, this is all me. Like, I'm not just an engineer. I'm a sorority girl and a scuba diver. I want to do all these things. Like, no. And it was like really getting me down for a while. I was thinking like, what am I going to do? Like, I don't want to be one dimensional. That's not me. And then like, thank God it clicked because that guy has no freaking idea, number one, what my capacity is. And then number two, he doesn't have any idea like how hard the classes are and if I'm capable or not. Like he was my same year. He was in my grade. We were taking all the same classes already. Like just watch me, buddy. Watch me next year. I don't know. Like I'll do what is right for me. I'm not going to make a judgment based on something that I know wasn't coming from a good place. And I was fine, you know. I was doing a billion activities. I was given tours every Friday. I was vice president of public relations for my sorority. And then senior year, I was on homecoming court. I was the outstanding senior for our electrical and computer engineering department. And I won sorority woman of the year. So I look back down, I'm like, thank God I didn't take that advice. 
And now a recent work situation that just like cracks me up is that I recently met this guy and I was at an event where we were both being honored for this award ceremony and we got the same award. And I thought it was so cool. Like we were chatting, it was great. We really were clicking about a lot of different things that just we believe. And so that I went on LinkedIn and connected with him later that night and said, great meeting you, love to stay in touch. And so, you know, went to bed that night and thought like, what a great guy. Like, I hope we remain friends. Well, I opened my LinkedIn the next morning and the guy says, like, great meeting you too. I hope, um, I hope we stay in touch. Please feel free to pick my brain for any questions you might have about navigating these early years in your career. So, you know, it's funny because I told my best friend this one time. Um, I told her the story after it happened and she was like, oh my God, that was so nice. I was like, what? Hold up. No. I felt like this was kind of a false allyship. You know, this guy was five years older than I am. We got the same award. I never asked him like, hey, will you be my mentor? We were never talking about like challenges with career development or anything. It was like, he just decided to start imparting this wisdom and being like, I know what's best. If you want to pick my brain, like, please feel free. I kind of wanted to joke and I wanted to really like respond back to him and say, yeah, please feel free to do the same. But I definitely didn't have the guts to do that. So now I'm just recording a vlog and putting it on YouTube. So like, I don't know how that's better, but just the way it made me feel, I felt like this guy wasn't trying to make me better. I felt like by writing that he was trying to make himself feel better, make himself feel more accomplished or something because he was able to tell me that like he was so much older and wiser. So in summary, the term false ally is a thing. The term false ally means someone who's really not looking out for your best interest, but they're giving you advice anyways. And be able to pick that up and be able to say, you don't have to say it to them like, sorry, I'm not taking that advice, but you don't have to feel obligated to take all of the advice. You know what's best for yourself. You know your capacity. So don't let anybody else hold you back. Thanks.